Hello YouTube, what's going on? My name's Thomas, and guys, we're going to talk about YouTube networks. What are they? What can they do for you? Can they help your channel? All that fun stuff coming right up. So guys, what is a YouTube network? Well, let me tell you the fun things that it is. A YouTube network is an MCA. It's basically a multi-channel network that has a business relationship with Google, with the almighty YouTube, and basically they manage YouTube channels on behalf of creators, whether it be content ID, digital rights management, all that fun stuff, managing monetization and ad platforms, stuff like that, so that videos have ads on them, whether it's giving you royalty-free music and other services that help grow your YouTube channel. Whether it be sponsorships or brand deals so that you can work with other companies to help promote their products in return for the cut of the revenue. All that fun stuff guys. That's the type of thing that YouTube networks are involved with, that YouTube networks are. And there's some good networks out there, there's some bad networks out there. Personally, I have a lot of experience in the industry. I used to own two YouTube networks. Hero, hero, hero. What are those hero. Neanderthals up to? Hero. Don't they know I'm busy spoiling myself? I'm a pure on part. <laughs> because of this, I have some experience again in the industry. So, YouTube networks. What should you look for when joining one? Well, there's a few things you want to watch out for. You want to watch out for what the community says about the network. You want to look up reviews on YouTube, and you want to make sure that the network is credible, that it's reliable, and that basically it won't f*** you over. Because that's the last thing you want, is putting your entire YouTube channel in the hands of a greedy company that does not give a flying sh about your YouTube channel. That's something you do not want. You want to make sure you're getting a good deal, that you're not locked into some 10-year contract with a 60% revenue share, or something entirely ridiculous and out of proportion. You want to make sure that the network has a good, thriving community, a very supportive community, full of collaborators and other YouTubers that are kind of like what your channel is. You want people that are similar to you in your network so that you can collaborate with them, so you can work with them. And so that, you know, you can kind of get an idea how other people within the industry are making use of the services that the network's providing. And also, you know, to get tips from them and that type of thing. You want to make sure that you're joining a community that can help your channel grow. A community that can help you, you know, grow your channel, collaborate, you know, and basically, that's the main point of YouTube, guys, is to collaborate, is to join a community. And without that, there's really no point to joining a network in my opinion. You want to join a network with a good, thriving community. And the other thing you want to look out for is revenue shares. You want to make sure that you're getting the best deal possible for your YouTube channel. Now, if you're a small YouTube creator and you're going around, you know, let's say you get 5,000 views per month, and you want a 95% revenue split, I'm very sorry I have some very bad news for you. YouTube networks are simply not going to offer that. Now, maybe you have a best friend's cousin's relative that happens to be the CEO of a network and gets your channel a good deal. That's great. Good for you. I'm proud of you. Hands to you. But for the vast majority of people in the YouTube network industry, I'm sorry to say not everybody's getting 90s and not everybody's getting like really high revenue shares because of the size of their channel. You know, it really depends on if you're a small YouTuber, if you're a medium YouTuber, if you're a large YouTuber. I hate to say that, but that's just the reality of the situation. The bigger your channel is, the bigger revenue share you can get, the more money from your channel you can earn when you join a network. Now obviously, some networks will offer different percentages. Network A might offer you 75%, Network B might offer you 80 But then again, you also have to look at the other perks, like for example, one network might provide a deal with a certain company that you're really excited about, but the other may not. Um, the other might provide you with a huge library of royalty-free music that you can use in your videos. The other may not. You know, maybe one offers brand deals for your size of channel and for the type of videos that you do. Another may not. These are all things you want to look at. You know, there's more than just the money factor. 
Although money is, of course, a huge part of it. You know, but community, as I said, should be the top thing you look at and what the community provides and what services it provides, what companies are working with the community, that sort of thing. Collaboration. That's what you want. You know, and that's the thing. You gotta look at the services. You have to look at the services offered by the network. And last but definitely not least, you know, look up reviews on the network and make sure that the network's not engaging in any shady practices. You know, you don't want to find out that you accepted this great deal and then all of a sudden things kind of go downhill you want to leave and then you're locked into a five-year contract make sure that the network is honest that it's transparent and that the community generally agrees with the practices that the company is doing you don't want to find out later that this networks going around scamming people you don't want to be involved with that so make sure you're joining a good credible network a network that can help your channel grow and a network that again can uh, you know can help you can help your channel grow help you earn money and help you further your YouTube career so what else do you need to know about networks well you need to know that some networks out there provide different things based upon your channel's genre if you do gaming there's gaming oriented networks if you do music there's music oriented networks you know if you do vlogs and lifestyle stuff, there's networks catered to that. You want to join a YouTube network that fits your genre of YouTube channel. If you're a gamer, join a gaming network. If you're a musician, join a musician, join a uh, music network. You know because odds are these networks, you know, they're companies. They're companies that have connections within the industry. And if you're a gamer, you don't want to join a music network because you know. The music network will probably be focused in getting, you know, music distribution deals and getting albums out in Spotify and, you know, dealing with digital rights management and content ID of, you know, audio content. That's not going to help you if you're a gamer. That's not going to do anything for you. You're going to want to join a gaming network that has, you know, partnerships with companies such as Control Freak or um, DX Razor or, you know, different things like that. G Fuel. Um, these are the type of gaming networks that you're going to want to work with you know if they have like a community hub stuff like this you know you want to join networks relevant to what your channel is about and you know finally guys just make sure again do your research look around shop around evaluate a few networks see which ones right for you make sure that the network you are joining is one that will help your channel and is one that will benefit you join a network that you guys are comfortable with join a network that's going to help your channel and again just make sure that it's one of the most you know important business decisions for your youtube career that you make the right choice i'll see you guys later bye bye